for going to this story of poor me and I lost my child or I lost my husband or wife or mother and poor me story. Pay attention to me. I'm unfortunate. That's another game the mind is going to play. And you have to be aware of it. So you don't go into this victim place. But we have to reprogram ourselves and retrain ourselves by understanding that life and birth and death is a natural part of this dimension. Everything got a period from the time it arises to the time that it's going to disappear. It's got a time period. Nothing's going to last forever. Nothing. Even the planet Earth always is changing. Even the most amazing power, uh, solid mountains, they're changing. Everything's going to change. Anybody has any questions or any comments? Hi, Dorothy. Yes, I want to share something with you all. Okay. Um, in 2012, my father died and um, I made a very important experience for me. And at this time, I was already trained in being in the flow with feelings, just to feel a mm. feeling very pure. and. I experienced a, a period of time, I think about two months, I was really, really sad. Not always, but often. But it was no suffering and no pain. It was pure sadness. And I can say, in a way, I, I could enjoy it. it. It has a certain beauty and without suffering. And that was very very good for me to experience and in, in that way it was so intensive yeah. beautiful it's, yeah it's just uh, you, you know you kind of become even more beautiful because you're in this deep sadness and you're very vulnerable and your guards are down and there's a purity in it that I've experienced, that you're very raw, and uh, it, it makes you even more beautiful than ever before. Thanks for sharing. Thank you. Anybody else? Hi, Katie. Hey. Hi. I just want to have a comment or experience. I just recently lost my dad a year ago from cancer, and I was his caregiver. And, and then three years ago, like 2007, I lost my mom from cancer, and, I, and my dad and I were her caregiver. And it was like a double whammy for me, just not like a victim, but just lost, you know, a continue of losing, you know, my loved ones, and yes, um, I pretty much um, on a spiritual journey now, and I feel my dad is here all the time, and uh, he gives me signs, and uh, he comes as hummingbirds, and you know, it's just a real. He's given me which is wild, uh, a spiritual um, rebirth, I guess. Yes. Time. And um, it's uh, very, 
it, it's wild because my dad he was a low key guy and very, but now in a spiritual world, he's like, okay, here, here it is. Here I am. And I'm going to comfort you. I'm going to help you out. Just listen. So it's just listening and feeling and the divine will come. He will come or my parents will come. That's all. Beautiful. That's, that's a good thing you brought up because, um, for me, what happened when I lost my sister, uh, it really uh, made us all in the family to be more attentive with each other and more present and pay more attention. Uh, it made me realize like with all the loved ones, family, friends, like how little time you have with each other and not take anything for granted. So it's like my sister goes and then my best friend goes like 10 years after and it kind of like sharpens your senses because uh, you realize how fragile, fragile life is. First of all, you're always on the edge of death. From the time you were born, you're on edge of death because there's no guarantee how long you're going to live. And there's no guarantee how long the people around you are going to be around. So, you know, we get caught up in this, in this um, fast-paced life and with our own agendas and the stuff we're doing and we're going, going, going. And sometimes we're not paying any attention because we get so busy with our own stuff. But when you lose someone close to you and you care for, it wakes you up that, wait a minute, maybe I can stop by and make that phone call or maybe I can just spend a little bit more time or at least when I'm with the people I love, be really present and really absorb them and drink them. And uh, because this could be the last time we're going to be together. And kind of bringing that awareness, because that's what it does. It wakes you up from this sleepy, dreamy place to the reality that this moment is the only moment you have. And don't take anything for granted that, oh, she's, gonna, she's always going to be there. Or he's always going to be there. And that's not how it is. Also made me realize that the time you're born is set and the time you die is set. It's already written. There's nothing you can do to extend your life. Nothing. I mean, you can do all these jumping jacks. It won't make any difference. It's already written. It's already set. So, then you can just live your life bravely and live it fully and do everything you want to do and express yourself in this life in whatever way that works for you. And, and try to do all the stuff you really love to do and, and love anybody you want to love, tell them whatever you want to tell them, whatever it is. Because somehow we have this deep conditioning that we're hanging on. We want to hang on to things all the time. But so there's this thing. You can see it with people accumulating, let's say, more wealth. 